Scientists at the University of Maryland Computer Lab called Augmentarium, together with physicians from the university's shock trauma center, are mixing virtual reality with the real world, creating something called augmented reality. Wearing special goggles, soldiers on a future battlefield would be able to see critical data without averting their eyes from the scene. The same technology could help surgeons in the operating room. Right now, I put the probe on you and I have to look at a screen over here. And the patient monitors may be up here and I'm not really looking at the patient. So you can imagine if I was wearing these glasses and I put the probe on the patient, now I can look directly at you. We're still talking and now I can look at your heart. So it makes it much more immediate. Fusing images from multiple surveillance cameras into a virtual reality could also help security officers more effectively monitor different areas. This would also allow the campus public safety officials to walk into uh, or, or teleport themselves from one point on the campus to another point on the campus. This could allow them to decide what would be the appropriate calibrated response to anything unusual that they find. Researchers admit that virtual reality headsets are still bulky, but they point out that early smartphones were also large, had low battery life and no touch interfaces. Today, as the smartphones have gotten smaller, uh, they are more portable. A whole field of social media engagement has emerged out of the smartphones. And we believe something similar is going to happen with the virtual and augmented reality headsets. Scientists say with sufficient funding, this innovative technology could be available in three to five years. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.